our tree shines and shares some rhyme that is sure to delight. A Grinchmas treat is in store for you. Please welcome our guest, an honorary who? From the award-winning show True Blood and the upcoming film Priest, please welcome Stephen Boyer. Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. Every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be his head wasn't screw screwed on quite right. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. For he knew every who down in Whoville beneath was busy now hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings, he snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas, it's practically here. And he growled with his Grinch fingers nervously drumming. I must find a way to keep Christmas from coming. Then he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do, the Grinch laughed in his throat, and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. And he chuckled and clucked. What a great Grinchy trick. With this coat and this hat, I'll look just like St. Nick. Then he loaded some bags and some empty old sacks on a ramshackle sleigh, and he hitched up old Max. Then the Grinch said, get up, and the sleigh started down toward the homes where the Who's lay a snooze in their town. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. Then he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room, and he took every present. Pop guns and bicycles, roller skates, drums, checkerboards, tricycles, popcorn, and plums. He cleaned out that icebox as quick as a flash. Why, that Grinch even took their last can of who hash. Then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. And now, grinned the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. Then he did the same thing to the other Who's houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other Who's mouses. It was quarter past dawn, all the Who's still abed, all the Who's still a snooze when he packed up his sled. Three thousand feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip-top to dump it. But Christmas does come, as we all soon shall see, for the Who's down in Whoville and their magnificent tree. To all of you listening, the tall and the small, thanks for your ears, I've had quite the ball. Now sit back, relax, bundle up from the cold. The rest of our story is about to unfold. Once again, a big Whoville thank you for Stephen Moyer.